Intermissile. Oh. Sounds like Salieri was getting ready to make his move. Woken up to it, maybe. But then, prohibition ended. And a bootlegging business got knocked on its ass. All that fighting over booze, man, next to nothing. It took us a few years. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Mafia. Kicking it off at the end of Good Deal. I accidentally hit that X button as soon as the cha chapter was finished. But we're picking it up at the intermezzo. And apparently, uh, what I'm... What I'm... What I'm guessing... Things will look up. Per, uh, what's we had word? good money per rolling in on the regular. I had a wife and daughter. Sam was running a club for the Don. Even Polly had a few it? of his own. Like Wasn't interlude. Exactly happy, I, I believe it like an intermission. What do you call it then? So, uh... Content. Right now yeah. we're talking between... That was it. The middle deal of Salieri, Polly... He finally starts talking about... Salieri, Morello... Maybe buying and everything, cops, and about how my family's getting into the mix of this. Hmm. That's interesting. You know, the more I'm looking at the shop, the more it looks familiar. You think Salieri was sourcing high binders in '34? Maybe. No. Wait. Well, a few years back, the voice squad got a judge on solicitation of a minor. Oh. It's in the box. He this is just some information we're catching up to see to why Morello, why Salieri, Salieri do things. And it seems Salieri well, was putting on some, uh... Take, but once Morello found out, he threatened to bury the judge's kids in the beach, still breathing, of course. Christ. It was a missing piece. Oh, looks like, pa was looks like Tommy put something get together. Morello was always winding us out. But he never did anything that might start an all-out war. Yeah, Tommy put something Learning together. He put a puzzle to his together. Own must have Seems like he did. His scales because in '35, he hit us with both barrels. So here's another part. Here's another chapter to tell. Him. Seems to be that the story is just getting longer. But I wasn't paying much attention to that intermission. Uh, I'll go back and re re hear on the information that was given. But other than that, it seems to be that Salieri a Bon Appetit, 1935. It seems that Tully, oh, hey, yeah, this is the plan. information that's going on with uh, how Salieri was in doing some shady hey, stuff oops. on the side and not even telling you his crew. Pepe's for lunch, but Carlo called in sick. You up for a drive? Sure, boss. Bravo. I'm already starving. All right, Salieri, let's go do this drive. You got oh. a piece on you? Huh? Yeah. See? Think I'll need it. Eh, you know how it is. Things with Morello have been a little quiet lately. Maybe it's just got me jumpy, is all. Hmm. Seems to be. Uh, all right, Sally, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, but I don't know if you're putting something in the clouds of doubt because you're telling me. Let's just get to driving. But this is a nice car for the <laughs> for the era. Look at this. This is a pretty nice car. Okay, let's go. You got something to so say to me? Business, fam. It's been good. Hey, you know how it is. Good. Sure, I'm right? sorry. I'm hungry. I haven't got time for this crap. <laughs> I, sorry, boss. I don't mean to step out of the car like that. Sure, it's I just because I crashed the car. The every day. But since what yeah, happened, business happened, is good. I know that a capo needs to talk to his soldiers without some other guy getting in the way. These guys, why are they driving? Why are they walking in the street like that? I guess we're mixing with a better sort of person now. And, and I like dealing with all these through. big shots we got on the pad. That's right. It's better than those grifters trying to shift their hooch before the 21st went through. Ah, this is only the start of it, Tom. I'm I got really trying to skip. Plenty of good people lining up is, for a slice. But Glad to hear. Don't want to drive like a citizen. Uh, they're talking about business. Seems like they're talking about the whiskey that they brought in and how good it's been making profit. There's a cop car. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I see those pigs. Yeah. Must be nice for you. Some time away from Polly and his cockamamie schemes. <laughs> Better Gimini. conversation, boss. i give you that. I don't know what conversation sure, you're talking about. I wasn't Me, listening Sam to that. Polly, though, but we're still real tight. We've been through some times together. Yeah, yeah, we have been. Don't I know it. Oh. Oops, sorry boys. Sorry but ah boss boss. Oh there's a cop. 
There's a watch eye on me. There's a there's a neighborhood watch program on me. That's how you know. You don't have a ports of a man driving like a lunatic. You just have a ports of a man driving. But you're not even checking up on it. It's all right. That's right. It's a uh, 1930s. It's a little bit racist in Chinatown. So they're like, it's cool. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> this is bad. Call officer. Search is called off. Oh, because like it was cops on me. Tom, this ain't early. In fact, it's getting kind of late. Oh, they weren't talking at all because there was cops. Oh. I forget. That car just went. Anyways, we're here. We're here, Sally. Don't worry about it, Don. We got to this. We got to Peppers. Uh huh. I bet. I bet. Oh, more wine. Hey, more wine here, please, quickly. <laughs> You're going to love this wine. It's a. Oh, Don't look forget. at this. Welcome, my friend. Welcome. <laughs> Good to see Pepe. you, Pepe. Yes. Hey, come. Our guest has arrived, eh? What's on the menu today? My mother. Huh. She would be so honored if you tried her caponada. Excellent. Bravo, bravo. Oh, Benny. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll only get you a chair for you, huh? See, please. <laughs> and to drink, a Chianti. I've been saving this just for you. Yeah, bene, bene, bene. Oh, look at the wine. It's so fancy. It's so huh? fancy. Everything's real fancy, but no wine for me, please. Enjoy, huh? Uh, just a weed. <laughs> no, not even I'm smoking in here. Not time. even a cigar for me. Uh, Sarah threatened to leave me if I didn't dry out. I know. Sarah threatened to leave? She told you. No. I put her up to it. Oh. Drunkards this guy. get sloppy, Tom. I didn't want you to make a mistake we couldn't live with. Huh. So you're putting that on me? <laughs> uh, for you? And for you. You're putting <laughs> that on me? The meal is a masterpiece as always. <laughs> Molto grazie, Don Salieri. Praise from such a gourmet Whoa. as you, it filled me with a joy. Uh, you wouldn't call me a gourmet if you knew what I had for supper. <laughs> Ooh. What's this pulling up outside, though? It's a car with commies. Get down! Oh, duck. This just became from Pepe's to Bullet. Sheesh. Oh, that body. What? That's the only who person who could be. My wine. Hey, Salieri! Come out of there and we'll make this quick. Smoke him out, Joe. Shit, watch out! These other guys are okay, but these punks are gonna door. get done. Can you move? They're gonna get enough. done. We're gonna ambush these boys. I'll keep them entertained while you slip out the back and circle around. You sure right, Lee. Blow them all down, Tommy. Not one of them goes home tonight. Okay, don't boss. worry. We'll put be them careful. down six feet underground. Tommy, just be quick about it. It'll be done. <laughs> all right. Come out at the big muscle. Is there back? There's no back. I'm sorry, I should have saved him. Is someone inside? There shouldn't be. There is. Get the gun. Uh. Reload. There don't seem to be anyone here. Reloading. Health. Ammo. Pick it up. 
Ooh. Who's shooting me? From where? Oh, he's up top. Okay, there. Some bullets landed. Oh, there's another one. Oh, that was terrible. That was so potato. Okay, let's go. I got another. Here's a shotgun. But you got that shotgun, but you weren't ready for the punches. You weren't ready for the blows, bro. Okay. Who? Throw the grenade. Whoa! Uh, he was blown to the side. Grenade. Say hello to my little friend. Ah. Ah. Yeah, Don, we made it, bro. Oh, look at the we got it. Kid. You really saved my ass, Tom. Let's go, go, let's go. We gotta get here. To be here soon. I need a minute to catch my breath. Okay. You got 60 seconds. Yeah, well, let me get you back to the bar. No, not the bar. We're going to see Carlo. Oh. That son of a bitch knew where I was going today. Carlo? He calls in sick. He set you up. Oh. oh. To us, Tom, you could have ended up just as dead. Yeah, I know, boss. Carlo's shacked up with some Damon Holbrook. Let's go see what he has okay. to say about all this. All right, let's go see Carlo. Step on it, Tom. Every minute Carlo's still breathing is a minute that's got me pissed. <laughs> sure, boss. <laughs> oh, I took down that thing. My car. The only time the post don't stop the car. It had to be Carlo, didn't it? His pop was tight with Morello right when we started out. Apple don't fall far from the tree, huh? I wept at his funeral. At his sons, I'll be laughing loud. His no. mom's already a widow, Tom, and now he's gonna make her lonely till the day she dies. For what? What? Some dodo by his dope? And my foot through his face. Carlo, I don't know who Carlo... Uh, I need to be remembered you know who Carlo was. I'm glad. I'm glad this happened. I get to plug another rat, and Ooh. we finally go to the mattresses with Morello. Today's the day that damn breaks. Sure feels oh, like it. Oh, look, 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 look. He's getting heated. Sadly, he's blowing his lid. I don't Take think he's thinking of a clear you head, head anymore. Family. You give him respect. And this, this is how he repays you? If he's, he's done trying this, to go hot-headed now. Not thinking think he was logic, but hopefully he's hiding his out plan. I'll figure it out. Garage. Any of them could have been him. Can't remember Carlo. I can barely remember Jesus Carlo. Christ, someone's been ratting us out to Morello for years. And the time we work it out is when his guys come this close to bumping me off. Here you go. Let's get out of the car. Alright, Salieri, Salieri, lead the way. Bass, why don't you let me go first, huh? Carlo might be waiting for us. No, Tom, my face is going to be the first and last thing this bastard sees. Oh. Oh, he came steamy in there, Carlo. You goddamn dirty grifter. You better dangle, sweetheart. It's gonna be a closed casket, Carlo. Oof. Ah. At this moment. Ah, oh, fuck. The you nose, okay, the jaw, yeah. and the cock. Let me catch my breath. Oh. Jesus, he's fast for a big guy. Don't oh, he's just running out. He's just running out. He's not even worried about the thing. He's not even trying to get questioned. No, he's going to stay running. Come on, catch up, Tommy. We just want to talk. We just want to talk. Then explain. Stop running. I'm trying if you stop running and making me do shit. Oh, I'm stuck in a wall. Bet. Then come back here. Oh, you did set us up. You did set us up. You set us up. <laughs> I wonder if I let He's that timer finish. I'm not sure. 
I shot him in the back of the head. He should have been done. It was in the back. What are you stepping on? Uh, it seems to be his head. It seems to be his head that you're stepping on. But yep, yeah, no, he did set us up to be no, killed out sure. there. Oh, he set up Salieri to be killed. Tom was just there. Oh! Keep him out of trouble. Sure. Who's this? Morello's being up a man. Wait a minute. Is that Gordy? Oh. It is. Hey, Gordy, how you doing, buddy? Hoppy recognized you. There's Gordy. What'd he do? Yeah, why are you beating this guy up first? You said you were having some trouble down at the And he's not saying it. Yeah? That's nothing I can't handle. Yeah, well, he did some asking around. Oh. This asshole was planning a strike. Strikes are no good for business. He wanted his organized to want to strike. For it, right. <laughs> right. Huh, huh, huh. So I decided the union needed a change in leadership. Is that all right with you? Of course. Yep. Now, what about that, uh, other <laughs> That's why I'm here. Sergio was pointing at Gordy so with his finger like, alive. shame on you, don't be doing things, and tell you he's still alive. God damn it! Morello's Pissed. He's more heated than he was finished. What happened? I don't know yet. Crew we sent is dead. Restaurants all shot to hell. That's right. Stop your crying. Don't have a conversation here. What about uh, the cockroach Carlo? Uh. Found him with his head smashed in like a fucking watermelon. Never seen anything like it. Mm. Damn so right. Damn right. God damn it. Even hear myself think. It's gonna be a war. I told you to shut the fuck up. Well, we've been at war since we killed Papone. It's just out in the open now. Papone. What do you Papone? want me to do? That's Gordy done. Make your rounds. Tell the boys to keep their eyes peeled and the powder dry. Okay. Okay. Put the word out. So it looks like Morello is gonna step it up even higher. Hey. Just uh, keep your head down, little brother. You too, Don Morello. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's this chapter, Bon Appetit complete. Thank you guys for joining me on what in this piece, and I hope to catch you in the next piece.